Yeah. So, as per, I'm starting a new playthrough rather than finishing the ones I have. What's this, you say? I love the remastering they did for this, because originally it was very hard to see the environment they were in. And the machine that they were using and everything, it just felt very difficult to see the cutscenes. Just the PS1 had a lot of limits. And it like straight up like teases characters there, which you could barely read before. They really invaded Zim up uh, and Rio though for this HD re-release. Before he was just generic mad scientist, so they made him even more like the stereotype now. Because you know, uh oh, 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 this does not look. Oh. Uh, that was pretty creepy. Poor Torna. I want a game where you can play as Torna, and I don't mean a kart racer. They give you so much ability to play as Coco uh, in this, but... Oh, I love this. Look at this. They did a lot of good work with the HD re-release. Uh, yeah, I mean, as Probably, I don't have the dash anymore, do I? Look, you can see what I'm doing in crabs. You can see crabs. Um, yeah, like, the, just the detailing on the sides here were always really nice, and they've really, like, done a lot to make them. And, like, yeah. Oh. Pfft. I'm failing on the first level. Uh, yeah, I just love what they did with this. Adding detail to these. These used to just be 2D flat feature pillars and they've added like the obviously they've added all of the, the engravement engraving so there's a blue light down here oh no it's just smoke yeah like um this is, yeah they did a lot of work and yeah they, they bold of them I have to admit to go and release Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Just basically erasing even Vicarious Vision's own iterations, I think. I believe it was them that did it. Oh, fun fact, this is the only level in the game that had enough space on the... They decided to access after the first thing, where it transitions to between two separate songs halfway through the level. I think there just wasn't enough space on the disc for them to do it for everything. Now, we're going to go up here and then we're going to go backwards, because split pathing. If you don't like split pathing and box bridges that involve ridiculous and back in the day like pixel accurate crap, don't play Crash Bandicoot. See those 10 boxes? We're going to try and go back for them. I'm probably going to fall down a hole because they don't give you enough camera distance or they never used to. You always have to kind of inch it. So I always forget where the hole is and then I'm like, oh look a hole. Uh, oh, there's no hole. My whole life is a lie. This shit right here is the most frustrating it ever gets. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> yeah! First try. <laughs> Shut up. Don't expect me to get all of the gems. Like, some of them have made me cry more than once out of frustration, because it's just like, why is this so unfair? Oh, he give you a lot of percentage. Yeah, he's transported to this weird room with his face on it to get, get gems or to get told that he's not got gems. I got loads of trivia for these games. They never used to have time trials on the original. Now they have time trials because shut up. I 
I've never done a time trial on these. Should I do a time trial on this just to show them? I mean, what could possibly go wrong. I know we're not doing Stormy Ascent straight away. We're saving that until I've been in the game. Yeah, they always show this animation. I always used to think, how does Crash's nose not get stuck in the sand when he wakes up on the beach? But, like, certain things you just never get told. Oh, there was a Freya. Oh, well. I just keep running. Just keep swimming. Yeah, very bold of them to make Crash Bandicoot the latest one and call it Crash 4, just undoing everything post Crash Bandicoot 3. Like, oh, Crash Bash, all of the other stuff. Well, I guess that was a party game, so that gets to kind of like free ish pass, as in it gets pretty much ignored from the canon. To the point that I'm surprised Rilla Roo even made it into Crash um, Nitro, Super Nitro injected HD cart game. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't get the crystal. The relic, whatever. Yeah, you don't get crystals in this. You know why? I don't. It used to be just because you just need to progress, and certain areas, if you died or didn't save, or you saved the game, you would go back to a certain checkpointed area. Okay, we'll get this first. Introduces you to TNT. Which we're just gonna ignore for now. Oh, look at the little skulls and the skunks. That's cute. These should just be skunks. Literally, just skunks being assholes and getting in your way. And sometimes spawning where you stood by accident. <laughs> we're just gonna do this, apparently. used to. Oh yeah, you can't even get all the boxes on this first time around. Very early on they they introduced the the gem shit, the colored gem, or it's like not even, there's the, oh there's the key gems in this which they get rid of, and the colored gems. Yeah, for that. <laughs> Never mind. We tried. Ooh. trick you early with this stuff, so you got to be careful. They love trolling you. Oh, look! You used to just spawn on taking the third thing to the bonus stage, so now we'll do the bonus stage. I used to love the sound the dun 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 I can barely hear it because I'm playing and talking at low level. She's here! Oh! Cortex has time to leave her on a random mushroom place and snatch her away at the last minute. Because, you know, evil villains don't really have much of a schedule, apparently, <laughs> to their, like, villainy. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's just put her on a fucking mushroom-topped place. So you miss those because you don't have the gym path. Quite a nice little addition that you could do. Great, but you missed three boxes. Smash, smash, smash. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Crash Bandicoot 4. I might play it. I may be disappointed. I may not be disappointed. I may be like, what the fuck is this? If he's flossing in it like they did in the Sonic movie, and it's just stupid, embarrassing crap like that, where it's like... Are you, sh are you shitting me right now? <laughs> I will be like, have we not learned anything from making video game mascots that are enduring do stupid TikTok bullshit that is not going to be enduring because it's just a very cynical, like, data harvesting app that everyone's like, no, no, why would China do that? It's like, mm-hmm. Why would any tech company harvest data for large amounts of profit? Oh, is it because large amounts of profit? <laughs> Idiots. 
every face app that comes out, it's a random, uh, like, company that's shady as shit, and it's like, transform your face. We won't sell your face data to the randomers. We promise. And then immediately it's like, Scandal, as latest face morphing app that was used for comical effect, sells everything, including your shoe size, to random people. How they got your shoe size, I have no idea. But they did somehow, even though you're taking pictures of your face. <laughs> you're just like, what? And I'm just sat here like, how are people still downloading this shit? Are they all just teens who aren't aware of the problem? Oh, find that wrong. These guys kind of felt like racist depictions of um, Islander people, and I don't think it ever got better, especially with Papu Papu around. Because they were straight up like Islander peoples. Oh, I got spiked. Is that the end? Huh. They have a lot of gate ones there, or two, I can't remember, maybe three. They like doing this to you. They love doing that, just to like, look, great, but you miss basically every box. And if you let him get, like, if you miss a lot of boxes, he starts getting flattened by them, he's lying on the floor like, ah. Hot take, that is, like, very left to cool for like nearly 20 years, nearly 30 years, holy shit, I'm old, oh, I'm so old, uh, I didn't ever really like dislike these, they feel disjointed, but when obviously when you're a kid and this is your first experience of like platformers, you're like, why is everyone complaining that he's running towards the camera? I don't get it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying and it's difficult at first. And then you just kind of adapt to it really quickly as a kid, because kids just adapt to everything. And these never felt unfair. It's when they start giving you dash moves or speedies. And in the second game, they used to put speed lines on these on the floor, so you'd rush forwards into a pit that you could literally not see. And I'm going too slow and I'm going to get fucking squished here. Oh, it's catching me. I say as I die. It's just like, it's pretty tense, but like, the music does a good thing of making you feel tense. They edited out the old wolf sound. There used to be a wolf sound, they went, oh, as you did it. Um, in the soundtrack. Oh, you did it. Don't know if it counts. It counts. Uh, yeah. I can't say it's ever bothered me as much. Yeah. Another gem. As some people make it out to be, they, some people make it out like it's like the worst thing and it's a war crime. It's not that bad. It's like, oh, okay, not the best option, but like, as we're about to see, this one did me in so much more that I'm surprised that people don't bitch about levels that are predominantly river for some unknown reason that have platforms that just fuck you over and fish that just one hit you and things shoving you off of the tiny square platforms. Also the whole time there's leaves that face you in the wrong direction as they move you along and this shit where you have to bounce on a box on a tiny, everything's timing, these these logs make you slide down, and you don't realize that the first time you stand on them. It's just all bullshit, and no one ever talks and goes, oh, I fucking hate the river levels, because it's got a nice, calm, glockenspiel-sounding thing going on in the background, so you kind of get led into this feeling of like, oh, everything's fine. The fact that I make one wrong step and I'll drown horribly, and that sometimes he really just screams, <laughs> just a, oh shit, <laughs> you know. And these chompers, and those guys are, the purple ones are on their own timer, and those ones just try and get you the moment you stand on them after a set moment. And then there's also gem piles with like, you know, like this whole thing is a nightmare. I've done that wrong. I'm 
glad that one had it, otherwise I would have missed this. <laughs> There's always that one. Look! Not how you're supposed to do it, but okay. Yeah, I'll probably check out on the channel if I get it, Crash 4, and then have an opinion on it. I'm going in blind because that's my whole gimmick apparently for this channel, being as uneducated as possible. Oh no, they took my girlfriend who's literally so much taller than me. Crash is the Vegeta of the Crash universe. He's not even the Goku of his own universe, because he's so short. Oh. Yeah. Nah, man. They deliberately set the platforms as well so that you can't have optimal jumping, because then you get insta-killed as well by the plants. It's just... I always felt like these levels were harder for me. And no one ever goes, oh man, fuck those levels. They go, oh, and like, the rickety bridge levels. And everyone goes, oh, the boulder one, man, it's so unfair. No, that, I can do that. Yeah, like this shit. You tell me this isn't a racist caricature of somebody, some poor native people, with those tattoos. Feels like you're actively taking the piss out of Polynesian peoples. Oh yeah, you jump on his head. Feels like a like even when I was a kid, I felt like that's not cool, man. <laughs> like, that makes me feel weird. Also, why is he the only humanoid that's actually humanoid? Even like, um, oh, I'm fucking this up. Please stop. He's the only like they made effort to introduce a racist character to a to a game that was about cuddly animals and the only antagonists were out of proportion bright yellow doctors oh, that don't even look like humans so it just feels even weird uh, it's like having Mickey Mouse, and then every other character is like Goofy, Donald, and all that, and then, oh yeah, Blackface Joe. You're just like, why? Why can't this be anything else? <laughs> like, I know, it's on an island, so Islanders, right? And it's like, yeah, but it's making me uncomfortable, because I don't know if this is cool or not. I've, like, met and seen Mori people, and they're like, it made me sit down and think, oh, this, this feels dank. This feels like they're taking the piss. Ha ha ha, he's fat and he's showing his crack. <laughs> Butt jokes. Just like, you know, okay, fine. It was the 90s. He used to fall over and squish you if you weren't careful. Because, you know, fat people can do that. If they fall on you, you're dead because they're so fat, get it? And this time you jump on his belly because he's fat. <laughs> hey kids, don't be fat, otherwise people will mock you. I don't understand why generations have um, body dysmorphia. It's almost like every fat person in media is turned into the butt of some sort of joke. And are told that they're always like hilariously like not valued as a person and more just as a dumb thing that gets in the way and is slow and stupid. Mm, something to think about there. Really not, though. <laughs> like, at this era of the Crash Bandicoot games, oh, they also have multiple bonus round tokens, and some of them are trolly as fuck. Like, there's the Neocortex bonus round tokens, there's the Embryo, which is the one we just picked up tokens, and there's the Tauna tokens. Tauna tokens are fine, because they're just standard, like, they're just standard bonus rounds, they're like, they feel like bonus rounds. The embryo ones are basically challenge rooms, but they give you nothing, <laughs> so I've never bothered to complete them really, they give you nothing, nothing at all, absolutely zero, unless they affect your box count, I can't remember. But it's bullshit either way, you're just out there like, fuck this. 
um, they're pretty much irrelevant and they're horrible. They're like, here's some TNTs floating in the air at irregular angles that will kill you. Fuck you. And the Cortex ones aren't much better, but at the end of them you get the key. Cortex rounds. The Cortex rounds you need to do if you want to get the keys for the secret levels, which we'll get onto I'm sure much later. They're not fun. I fucked this up. I somehow did it anyway. Now, I'm pretty sure before you didn't have to care because there wasn't a counter at the bottom. Dead. And you weren't able to retry them before, but now you can retry them. But I lost all my masks. I'm dying. I'm dying. What was I saying anyway? Yeah, we're just talking about bullshit. Uh, I want it so much. <laughs> Worth. Oh no, it happened again. Why is Neocortex yellow? When they start introducing other humanoid characters like Embryo and Engine and all the others, they're all pink. And it really started to confuse me. Because it just felt like, well, why? Why is he the only yellow one? I don't see there's something at the bottom of that level, but the, you need to take the gem path to get down without killing yourself there. You see, there's something at the bottom. Why am I not doing this? What the fuck am I doing? You, can't you stand on these anymore? What the hell? Yeah, no, you can. I'm just depth perception of a chicken. Unless they have good depth perception. Oh no, we can't do the pointless death route that normally doesn't have anything in it but infinite death. They add these things, man, that are just like trolly, like, they say, oh yeah, like, me, 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 the Dark Souls of platformers. Literally, they add roots that are infinite death that you think, oh, well, there must be something good at the end of these. <laughs> Crash is dead. I've killed him. Um, and then there's nothing at the end of them, which is very what Dark Souls went on to do kind of thing, where you're like, Oh look, a strong enemy, I should go kill him because he's probably hiding that chest is probably good and it's absolutely nothing or a gimmick and you're just like, a mimic, not a gimmick, gimmicky mimic. And you're just like, what is this trolly shit? Don't let the piggy die. Save the piggy. It's modeled off of a Kuni Kuni pig, which is a pig that's, I believe, Is it in New Zealand? No, it shouldn't be in New Zealand. They're mostly birds. Uh, in fact, they're almost all birds. No mammals that are native to New Zealand. There are 200 species of bird, though. Fun facts that some people know already. And they show horrible the massacre of his brethren here. Poor piggy. Oh, and I got all the boxes first time. Check me out. I nearly did the whole first island because the first island is kind of balanced to be pretty much okay. And then the native, literally called native fortress, isn't it? I forgot about that. The natives. <laughs> Problematic. The grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Oh yeah, because there's like hacks ways of doing this if you want to skip certain areas. Um, 
Yeah, this uh, this whole first island is essentially a tutorial for like people to just go, and that's how the game works. And this level kind of tries to like up the ante a bit to try and like, okay, this is how it's gonna get harder. Do you understand? And you're like, um, I guess because I got past it, and they're like, good. Now here's the second island that is much harder, but still doable for the first half at least. And um, then the third island comes along and it's just infinite death. And you're just like, hmm, I do like my death as infinite. I want it to end up like Diablo. Yay. This is what I wanted. <laughs> And there's certain levels to this point, that's to this day, that still give me PTSD, like toxic waste. You want to talk about bullshit things, toxic waste is one where they're literally ripping off Donkey Kong, first of all. It's just endless barrels being thrown at you, and sometimes they bounce in an erratic way, which is very hard to understand where they're going to land, and you can just get wrecked by them for no real reason, and fuck you if you're trying to predict where they are, because if you get even slightly touched by them, he immediately gets killed in a very sudden and violent way, and you, as a kid you're like, oh, oh my god. There we go, I touched it. And you notice that this game has a lot of sudden, spiky things jabbing out at you that you're like, who in the world made this? spiky pole that's just randomly going Pfft. Does this fortress really have the ability to just be moving them like that? Like, and these random self-igniting pans of ash held onto the wall with pieces of highly flammable wood and rope. Yeah, that's just, it's just a very Monkeys can knock you off when they're rolling, it's just a whole thing. Yay, let's just put the, the thing somewhere difficult to land on. Oh yeah, toxic waste is nightmare fuel for me. Uh, I'd say that, slippery climb of course, and the first rickety bridge, this was short. Oh, okay. The first rickety bridge is, I think the first one's called Road to Nowhere or High Road. One of them's High Road, one of them's Road to Nowhere. The first example of that is fine because it's introducing you to the concept mostly. And it doesn't get too hard, you can do the majority of it without it being too much of a hassle. Oh, they love doing this shit to you. Mm, I hate it so much! Why do I keep playing this fucking game? Uh, oh! I'd rather you kill me and respawn me than this shit. Ah! But then I'd still be in the same place and down alive. Oh! <laughs> Least favorite levels, most favorite levels, mostly the piggy ones, and the ones where the, the dark levels in this are actually quite fun. Uh, they have some great ideas, there's some really iconic music in these this game. Some of the levels are real good fun, the temple levels. Uh, Sunset Vista is nice to look at, but a trial. Why is that one being the problem? That's the problem. Mm. Oh. So angry. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of really interesting and very varied visuals in all of the Crash games, and I really like that because it is like very visually arresting, and that's nice to look at, you know? Oh, thank god, a checkpoint. <laughs> Doing that shit again. 
to like inevitably get her, but so you see there's a hole in this fence. Maybe I just don't wanna play this level. Oh you can hit from behind, he's got back tech. Yeah, because of all of this. All of this. All of this infinite the what is that? Exactly what you think it is. So yeah, you can see I actually got pretty much the end of it. Yeah, sometimes the polygons used to clip through and you could still get burned by stuff when you're walking through like this. Or you could just badly tie the room and still get killed. Uh, but, uh, and you can see there's no real box penalty for going out of bounds there. Except for this box that I keep intentionally missing for some reason. But no box, 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 no box. No box, no box. So you can just go, I don't want to do this bit. Don't feel like it. Yeah, take that turtwig. Woo! There's a checkpoint right there and all. Just burning through these lives. Like I said, they start to try and show you at the end of the first world, first uh, island. Hey man, stuff's gonna get bad. And you can see in the background they've got Cortex's castle and blimp, and they've got another tree for some reason that isn't actually part of the game. Um, and I did it again. Oh, little bitch. Now, I refuse. No real reason to be doing this part at all. I don't understand why he would give the option to just tap out and it just had no consequence. I guess the time trial, but wouldn't that still be faster? Look at this shit. Who designed this? Oh good. Yeah. Now this one just messes with you. Be prepared. Oh. And then I just kill myself apparently. Yeah, um I'm not going to sit here, even though I was raised on Crash Bandicoot and it's basically all I knew for a long period of platforming, and then I played Spyro, of course, and a few others. Poor just made that! He ate me. No, oh, don't feed me. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like... Uh, nostalgia playing. I'm not gonna sit here and rose tinted glasses it. It has great music, great visual designs and stuff. Again. This guy, man. Doesn't even eat my shoes. No, 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 yes. No, 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 yes. No. Yes. No! <laughs> uh, but, like, there are a lot of problems with the first game's difficulty that are not addressed in the HD re-release, and in fact, in some cases, made harder because they changed the way Crash handles. My Crash, like I said in part three, because I play them out of order, my Crash and my Coco, they handle differently. The vehicles they drive handle difficult differently. And they're still in the same environment with the same things placed in certain ways. And if you've mastered the classic, that does not mean that you're going to be able to master this straight away. Which can add to, like, at least there's a little bit for the people who, you know... Oh, there's not a second one. Can we please just... No? Okay, there we go. No checkpoint, really? Just, just doing this to me now, are we? Look at this. Yes, because, you know, random guys 
can just build this infinite, I keep saying infinite, this ridiculously ornate tower to the heavens out of wood and just put spinny things. Like, how, how are anyone else, how is anyone else operating these platforms apart from Crash? How is Crash operating them? So half the time I'm hitting them with my head and spinning. Let's be again. And this, the, a lot of the jumping feels different, it feels wrong, it feels very, like, forced, like you're having to, like, really push in the button to hold this jump, and it's still not doing it a lot of the time, look. And then I fuck it up, so I get greedy. I got box greedy. Let's just end the level, right? Um... Yeah, no, Crash is fraught with problems with difficulty when you think this is a game predominantly marketed at children. Um, but, like, I'm glad they took those options to push boundaries because, honestly, it taught me a lot about, like, not giving up on stuff just because it's slightly hard and, uh, like, learning to persevere with things and stuff like that and understanding things don't just come to you, because I feel like a lot of modern games are as being raised on games that are just ridiculously hard all the time. <laughs> yeah, every time. Every time. Kidding me. Every time I start to move, it just goes, no, here's a short jump. And they just put this in here because it's like, ha ha ha, look, now you have to do this dumb bullshit again. Ha ha ha, now you have to sit here and jump, spin, jump, spin. It's just, I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. Let me just... Oh, you're kidding me. Look, he's not doing it. He's not doing it. Bastard. Get in the portal. We're going home. And that's the first island. Basically. Now to do the second island. So definitely not be a one parter. Do you want to see the second island? Oh, can I still spin it? I used to be able to press square. Yeah, they keep it in. You can see there's lava, that's actually just a boss fight. It's not a lava level. The temple's like one of the Sunset Vista style levels. You can see the bridge. There's another boulder level somewhere. That's the temple. Yeah, there's a boulder, I think. Yeah, there's a lot going on on this, so I'll start a new session, get a drink, see if I can be bothered to do this again. Because I like talking about Crash, to be honest, and Spyro and stuff. It's, it's nice. It's something I feel like I actually know a little bit about because I played them way too much, so...